Since the 15th day of December 2015, when members of the Islamic movement in Nigeria allegedly will lead the convoy of the Chief of Army Staff, Turkey Britain, Zaria, the controversy surrounding what happened precisely on the day has refused to go away. Accusations and counter-accusations have been the order of the day between the government and the group which has been at loggerheads with government following court orders for the release of its founder and leader, Ibrahim El Zagzaki. The group which this time is speaking through its southwestern Nigeria wing said the federal government should, as a matter of urgency, release the sheikh and his wife who are suffering from life-threatening conditions. It said the time is now for the government to follow up its obedience of valid court orders that gave access to Zagzaki and his wife and release both for urgent medical attention. In the case of Mala Vazina Ibrahim, the report stated a condition characterized by heart rhythm that fluctuates between being too fast or too slow. She also has several bilateral knee osteoporosis, which is a painful and creeping condition requiring urgent surgical intervention. Based on this situation, we wish to state that these are urgent medical emergencies in every sense of the word. It is obviously so clear the very, the very lives of Sheikh Ibrahim Zezeki and Mada Mazina Ibrahim are physically at risk and highly unstable. In fact, the physician team has already warned that the two may lose their life if an urgent medical treatment is not provided to them. Free Zezeki! Finally, we wish to reiterate our demand that Sheikh Ibrahim Zezeki and Mada Mazina Ibrahim should be urgently allowed to travel abroad for standard medical team. Free, 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 On the issue of violence and intimidation leveled against it, the group denied being a violent organization wondering how the Nigerian security services would have coped with its over 2 million members in the country. It said it is not a violent group and will never be. We are calling on the authority firstly to respect the law of the land and obey the court that order for the freedom of Sheikh Zezeki since December 2nd, 2016 to free him unconditionally. And secondly, the masses were also involved, as she says, when she was reading, that this uh, operation anywhere is everywhere. Operation, this operation on Sheikh Zezeki and his followers may come to your own door tomorrow. So we are calling on the masses to to come up and challenge this uh, operation because it has been escalating. It is in Zambaras today. It is in Meduguri. It is everywhere in Nigeria. For a prominent member of the group, Musa Abdullahi, the group has not for once broken the law. It said the federal government and all its security apparatus are the ones breaking the law. Malam has been poisoned. Malam has lead poison in his blood system. It is very, very important that he receive treatment so that he and his wife may not lose their life. The a court order has said that Malam and his wife should be released unconditionally and be paid compensation because it has been discovered that it is the government that has wronged them. We are asking them to obey that court order and release Malam so that Malam will be given the urgent medical treatment he needs. Totally, we are using this opportunity to advise our people, especially our people in the Southwest. Um, we have a proverb in Yoruba language. They said inability to speak out against oppression is one of the greatest misfortune that can happen to a person. If people have spoken out when our leader was captured, if they had spoken out when he was illegally detained, if they had spoken out when it was said that he should be released by a court order, a lot of the other subsequent abuse of law that happened will not have happened. If they have spoken then, we will not be having the crisis we are having. He said the group will continue to be law-abiding, but urged the federal government to obey court orders on the issue of the release of Ibrahim El Zagzaki, positing that it will be catastrophic for the group to lose its founder at this time.